Radiant Relics, a new recruit, and Prismatic Ticket, guys. What should we take? What shall we take here, guys? Um, oh, I have some... Uh, I have some punk units. That could be really fun, no? With Prismatic Ticket? Shall we choose, my friends? I have four punk already. Wait, that can't be bad. Uh, country Tom Kenge. Country Tom Kenge. Am I really just hard forcing punk? Uh, guys, be honest. Isn't that kind of boring? Be, be dead serious right now. Isn't that kind of boring? I think we can do something cooler, no? Because I don't like my items either. I do not like my items that much, guys. You feel me? Ticket doesn't work with punk, unfortunately. Alright, great, yeah. True, it does say... Um, it does say that you need to... Every time you spend gold on a shop reroll, then you get bonus stats. And I'm not spending gold if I'm, uh, if I'm golden ticket, right? Or if I'm prismatic ticket. They renamed it, because... Remember, guys, uh, in set 9 and previously... The golden ticket or the golden augment was called silver ticket. The silver augment was called bronze ticket. That is just very awkward. That was just very awkward, guys. Let's get this party started. Yeah, I got zero bonus so far on punk. But I'm getting the two stars, you feel me, guys? I'm getting those two stars, guys. Mm. I feel like it's just not worth, huh? Yeah. So, alright, let's get into it. So, as always, guys, set 10 with the, new, with the new set, I always try to explain as much as possible. I know most of you are getting bored. But, keep in mind, there is a lot of new players that haven't seen this at all. And are maybe even watching my video as their first introduction to set 10. So I'm gonna definitely make sure to explain everything. First of all, the portal. The last augment offered this game will be Prismatic. We got lucky, we even started with the Prismatic as well. So that's pretty sick. And the punk trade gives you these free shop refreshes or these cheaper. You saw there was one shop refresh that was blinking. I didn't take it because it was a one gold shop refresh. Don't make a mistake, it's a one gold shop refresh. We do not want the one gold shop refresh because that is gonna cost us. But that is the punk uh, trade, right? That is the punk trait, guys. She's country. The punk trait benefits from rerolling. Uh, so you just want a three star Jinx, Vi, Pantheon, Twitch. It's basically the reroll tra tra trait. But we don't want to do that this game. Believe it or not, I'm trying to play something else. Because again, Golden Ticket, uh, Prismatic Ticket is not going to work with it. So we're gonna go for something else. Uh, we have a headliner. We bought a two-star Tom Kench right off the get-go. That is the headliner effect, the new big new mechanic of this set. Which uh, every shop, if you don't have a headliner, gives you a two-star at the very right hand side. Which has some headliner bonuses like bonus health on my freaking Tom Kench. Bonus health on my freaking Tom Kench, right? And uh, it also gives me plus two to the country trait. So just one unit will give you plus two to one trait if it's a headliner. And the country trait basically is the summoning trait. It's the, it's the same as Void last set. Well, similar, right? Similar. Goes in the same... Thing is, I'm going for some AP items, you know? I could play Country for now. Do I two-star her? Is she an AP champion? Oh, she is. That's great. Let's go, friggin'. You're hired, girl. You're hired. Do you have anything better? Not really. Suddenly, I have a lot of her. I have a lot of her, guys. What do you think? Is she good? 
Is Katarina 3 good? What's her headliner bonus? That's the problem. You cannot look. I can ch click on this and I can see the headliner bonus because it is the headliner. I cannot click on Seraphine and see the headliner bonus. I need to find a headliner Seraphine to see the bonus, which is a little bit annoying. I hope they will add that. They can just add the headliner bonus, but gray it out. Final knife deals 60% more damage. Oh, that's pretty good. Mm, we're just chilling. We're just chilling. How much mana does she have? She's a two range unit. Okay, so not a lot of range, but a little bit. A little bit of range, guys. Not a lot of range, though. Not fully backline. Um, she also wounds. She shoots a knife that bounces and she also wounds enemies. So heal reduction. I would love to try her out. I think the country trade can be very fun. As you can see, it summons a freaking Hecarim. Which is pretty cool. It also uh, buffs the units, right? Each country star level increases the Dreadseed's health and attack damage. Call a Dreadseed that empowers your team. When your team loses 30% of their health. So basically your team needs to just lose health and then get summoned. Guys, it's pushing a 3-star Katarina onto my face, guys. Oh my god, guys. I can't say these things. I'm getting excited. You feel me, guys? I can't really think straight right now, guys. I apologize, guys. I apologize, guys. I can't really think straight anymore, guys. Do you smell me, guys? Can't really think straight. <clears throat> oh my god, man. Shoujin? 60 mana? Shoujin, yeah. Shoujin? Shoujini? Wait, I'm actually hyped. I'm actually hyped. I'm gonna go for a 3 star. Because I can use her as an intermedi inter intermediary carry. And then just go fast 9. I'm sure. Because I have golden ticket. I level to 6. That's the highest chance for 2 cost headliners. And we just get a headliner and we're done. Remember guys. Headliners are 2, two stars. So I roll down here. I get 1 freaking headliner Katarina. It's over. I'm, I already have a 3 star. That's 9 Katarinas. Ding ding ding. GG. Deserved. The problem is we need a country headliner. Yeah, because the Crowd Diver trait is just trash. Check this out. Oh no, it's not! It's broken! Oh, I, I forgot about the second effect. Uh, so after Crowd Divers die, they leap onto the furthest enemy. Basically, they catapult their corpse onto the enemy. Uh, mostly backline, most of the time that's going to be the furthest. And they deal 300 magic damage. So not a lot of damage, right? And they also stun them for 1.5 seconds. AoE. Uh, within one hex. Um, not a lot of damage, right? It's just disruption, basically. Already have Jeweled Gauntlet. How bad is Gambler's Blade on her? Nah, it's pretty bad, bro. It's pretty bad. Oh, Healing Orbs. GG, deserved. Okay, I just level here, I think. I just send it. Oh, I need to sell him first. No, I, I sell this, I sell this. It actually raises the chance. <sighs> it's just so well deserved, man. Let me just find one country unit. It's just so well deserved, guys, no? Alright, you better do something, you sack of garbage. A headliner effect plus 200 health and the final blade deals plus 45% more magic damage. Not 60% like the chatter said, but 45% is also very good. Look, look at this. That was pretty crazy, man. 6k damage with two items. I'll take it, man. Okay, I do need one crowd diver because it the second effect is insane. They also deal bonus damage increased by 1% each second. Seems pretty freaking crazy. I need to I need to stabilize here. I need to roll down here. To stabilize. There's my country unit. 
I don't want these guys. I want the bruiser. And then I want the crowd diver. I'll just buy this because it's a two star. Might as well use it, right? Another country unit. Edgelord. Five country. Now I don't need this. I, 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 I just had like 17 rolls for free. Prismatic ticket is the most busted thing ever. Every time I have it, I'm always surprised anew. So freaking stupid, Augment, man. Such a freaking stupid Augment, guys. I'm always surprised. I'm always freaking surprised, man. All right, I think we have a very good team assembled. We have five country, so that's gonna summon the next, uh, the Midnight Dreadsteed, the Midnight Hecarim. Not sure what the frick that does, but it's gonna summon it. And then I have this guy, which is a better crowd diver than this worthless mother trucker. Then I can sell this piece of garbage guy, and then I can just play this as well. And then I play this, and then... I guess I play Bruiser instead of this guy for some more front line. Oh, it also gives me Mosher. Very nice, okay. And then I have an Ionic Spark, which honestly I probably should just slam. Is he physical? Yes. She doesn't have enough range for Ionic Spark. Are you gonna give me a million rolls again, you mother trucker? Should have, I shouldn't have bought her. I mean, maybe I can go for three-star everything, right? The thing is, I don't have items for Samira. Samira is a very, very good carry. We just don't have items for her. Just don't have a single item for her. She wants full crit items. She's an executioner as well. So she deals... Uh, she gets bonus crit chance and she can... Cr basically vanquish her from the last set. Bonus crit chance, bonus crit damage, and she can crit with her ability if you have two, uh, two executioners at least. And then country is just the country trade, right? And we got very lucky that we got the country girl. The country version of her headliner. Because that gives us, yeah, very good. 5% bonus damage. 4 headliner, uh, 4 crowd diver is 20% bonus damage. Maybe that's even worth. Like, maybe it wouldn't, wouldn't even be bad if I got a crowd diver, Katerina. I guess both is fine, right? It's just very flexible. Let me see what that Hecarib does, man. What are you doing, man? On entrance, grant all allies 20% attack speed and grant country units 20% Omnivam. And then active is just deal damage. For 4 seconds, nearby enemies take 15% more damage. And the Dread Steel heals for 15% of the damage dealt. This is so much cooler than Baron and everything. This is way cooler than Void, guys. This is way cooler than Void. It's just more mechanics. Just very cool. You, you think I can go level 9 with this? I get one more item on her. I just speedrun level 9. The summoning trait is usually very strong mid-game. And then falls off late game. And then we can just pivot. We just sell this mother trucker. And we find a new headliner. And something that I didn't mention yet. Level 6. You saw me. You, I found the Katarina very early, right? Because it is a very high chance. 75% chance for green headliners. There is no slight chance for like... The other headliners... Look, see, now I can pivot into Samira almost. Executioner Samira, but no items, right? No items. Bro, isn't Nasher's Tooth actually good here? Oh, it is, brother, man. Let's go, baby. We got some good items. I'm gonna give this to him so he can shield himself faster. He doesn't have an ult. I... He doesn't have mana. What the frick is this? He just has a passive. Hey. <laughs> you, 
Yo, 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 chill, chill, chill. Why are you attacking my girl? Nice. Freaking Jax, mother trucker man. Yo, Jax. She's of age. You're not interested in her, man. <laughs> All right, guys. Talent search. All your champions gain their unique headliner effect. In addition, your headliner gains 100 health and 10% attack speed. That's pretty good. I don't want cybernetic. Armistice is also good though. I don't want Unleashed Arcana. I only have one AP carry and she's fully itemized. I feel like Harmesis is better. Talent Surge isn't really gonna do a lot. If you reach high level, it's broken. All of your champions gain their unique headliner effect. In addition, your headliner gains... I mean, honestly, it's pretty fun. And I have Omnivamp already from Country. Yeah, sure. Talent Surge, let's go. <laughs> what the frick did I do? I thought maybe someone is Sentinel. I don't think the EDM trait works if you put it at the end. Look now, he's gonna imitate Zack passive or Zack ult. Watch this. He's gonna bounce. Hey, you sack of garbage, man. Bounce like him. Ah, Master. Me gusta. Guys, how many free shop refreshes does it want to give me? Oh, this Sona, I really want to play her though. Uh, I can ditch somebody for him. But there are two stars, so I don't really want to do that. I want to keep this, I want to keep Bruiser. I could ditch him, but then I have a one star, I lose Bruiser. I definitely want to play her, she's probably busted, right? We want to make her not heal. I think attack speed is going to be the most useful when you have no items. I'm using him as the EDM guy. EDM units. Copy the thing. Uh, EDM units copy the ultimate of their chosen EDM unit. So as you can see, my Zed just jumped and stunned them. Both of them have zero items. Zed is a damage dealer. So I'm not going to give him the EDM trait or the EDM selector. Because if the Zack imitates Zed's ultimate, it's not really going to deal a lot of damage. Because the Zed has zero items. But the Zack ultimate stuns, so that is the obvious choice there. The thing is, I really have no items for this freaking Samira. But her getting her freaking EDM selector thing, or not EDM selector. Her getting her bonus is actually pretty good. Talent search, no? Her getting her own bonus is really good. 15% crit chance, 10% crit damage. It's actually really good stats. Oh, what the frick am I doing, man? I'm just sitting in my base for 15 minutes there, for no reason. Kiana is crowd diver. I believe she is, yeah, but Kiana is not that good. I think I would definitely prefer the EDM here. Like, am I not just rolling here for three stars? Because I have golden ticket. Am I really just leveling with golden ticket? Is anyone playing country? No one's country. Oh, he's playing Mosher. Okay, it doesn't matter. He doesn't have a... He doesn't have a dude. I think I'm just country reroll, right? I'm just freaking country reroll, bro. Okay, I mean, he's probably better than this trash, no? Like, two, double two-star? Probably better. And then I just itemize her. Or him. Depending on who I hit first. They're both good. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm too off. Forgot. And I'm just getting infinite stuff. Is it bugged? Is, is Prismatic Ticket bugged, guys? What do you think? I think the best augment I could have taken and could have gotten here is Healing Orbs. I think Healing Orbs is solo carrying me, guys. Healing Orbs is freaking solo carrying me.
Nah, I'm chilling. GG. Deserved. Okay, I'm gonna three star him, but I need to see what the items are. I can't just give him a. So he's very interesting. She's just, you know, you can see she gets this rating. The higher she goes, the more crit chance she gets. And the more... No, no, no. Every time she crits, she gains another rating, right? E, D, um, you know, C, B, you feel me? Until S rank. And when she has the S rank rating, she deals the most damage with her ultimate. She shoots her ultimate. Just single target damage. Full crit, full everything, right? Is her build. And um, she's very simple, right? Just a single target, solid damage dealer. Uh, gets more attack speed as well every time she crits. Um, this guy is very interesting, though. He has only 20 mana, so he instantly ults. But when he ults, for 8 seconds, he converts his bonus attack speed to attack damage. And attacks deal 319 attack damage scaling physical damage in a cone. And grant Urgot 30% of the damage dealt as a shield. And his headliner effect is also Omnivamp, right? So it's not just damage. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Crowd Diver, though? Crowd Diver is pretty good. We're huge guys, we're huge! We're freaking ginormous guys! Yeah! But I mean guys, how are we not gonna get ginormous if we have a, this freaking babe on the board? No, this Katarina man? This busty redhead just dancing? What? what? Hello, what? Alright, so what I need now is another crowd diver, huh? I want four crowd diver now? And we're good to go. What's another crowd diver? This guy. I don't need six country at this point. I kind of still want to play bruiser though. Ah, frick it, man. I'm not playing bruiser anymore now, man. That's for sure. Alright, that's really good. Four Crowd Diver is gonna give us a huge damage bonus, no? They also deal bonus damage increased by 1% each second. And 20 bonus damage is the base. So they're dealing a bunch of bonus damage. And this freaking Urgot is actually a nice Crowd Diver because he stays alive a very long time. So he keeps stacking up the bonus damage because he gets a shield from his freaking attacks. So it's actually really nice, huh? And now we just level. We level up next turn. And then we just find another bruiser. I almost was able to go 7 country, guys. You need an emblem for 7 country. Uh, there's no more country units. Just the Tom Kench. So 6 with the headliner. So you need an emblem and the headliner to give you plus 2 country. Like I have. Uh, but I didn't get the country emblem. Uh, I pr could have waited. By the way, I built a new item. You're probably wondering what it is. It's Red Buff. Rapid Fire Cannon is removed. Red buff gives you 35% base attack speed, 5% bonus damage, no more bonus range, just um, uh, heal reduction. Heal reduction, not that important here, but the attack speed is good on him. And I couldn't really build anything else, because Ginsu's, I tried it once, it was terrible. Because he attacks really slowly when he's in his, in his ultimate mode. He attacks super slowly, it's terrible. So I didn't want to do that. Two 8-bit emblems, unfortunate. I wanted that QSS. I mean, this is perfect. I get a tank item for him, and I get a freaking Crowd Diver. And it's the 5-cost Crowd Diver as well. Nice. Now I don't have a single trash Crowd Diver. 
I just ditched this idiot. Here we go, guys. Okay, this guy has two range, by the way, as well. Alright. So now I just need items, right? I'm rolling for a bruiser now. I think bruiser is still gonna be good. Oh, I don't have a mosher, right? Oh, okay, I want set. He's bruiser mosher. He's just gonna complete our traits very well. Okay, that's not bad. <clears throat> this guy is level 9, fast 9. I don't know if I can beat a fast 9 board. I don't know if I'm strong enough for that. I have a lot of stuns though, right? I have the four uh, crowd divers stunning the enemy team when they die. And I have the Zack jumping around like crazy. And the, the guy f copying his thing, right? Maestro Big Shot, useless here. The only problem is we're not playing Executioner. But we currently don't have a single item. He's not a crowd diver. So I don't need that. I'm looking for a set, right? Looking for a single set. I mean, isn't... I mean, set... It, like, it's Mosher, though. I feel like Mosher is very important here. Because it's a three-star guy, right? It's a three-star freaking Urgot. And Mosher gives him... Um, attack speed and Omnivamp. Which is increased up to 100 based on their missing health. 100% based on their missing health. Everyone just went fast 10, fast 9 and stuff, huh? Yeah, you can't really beat these guys, right? Fast 10, fast 9, it's just legendary board. Yeah. Probably gonna lose to them. That's just the strongest you can play on PvE because a lot of people are not gonna play super aggressive. You can get level 9, level 10 very easily. Maybe I can get a uh, 7 thingies this game. Or I can maybe reach level 9 and go for a 3 star. Zed, but probably not. Okay. I need a two-star Zack as well. Okay, I need an item here for either for Thresh or for the Samira. Um, I kind of want an Infinity Edge on her because I'm not going to play Executioner, right? Can I play Executioner somehow? I don't think it's worth. I think the, the Zack stuns are too good. The Zack stuns are way too good. Well, I think I'll just go Deathblade on her. And I just level to 9 for an Executioner. That seems very, very viable. Oh. Deathblade is pretty much our best item anyway. I'm keeping one of this guy just in case. He has 5 EDM jacks. What does that do? What does 5 EDM jacks do? Oh, frick. He has a lot of Spellweaver. Sona damage mode. She hits the entire board or something. She just kills everyone. But she has a lot of max mana, so if I can kill his team before that happens, we're fine. Also, we have an Edge of Night, which should be a pretty good counter. Yeah, nice. Okay, we beat him. Uh, when do I level? When do I level to 9? And what's my best Executioner? Kartus or Akali or Vex? Kartus. I'll just hold a Kartus so I have one immediately. Oh, I could just level now. I, I think it's actually level now. Because it, it actually adds so much power to my team. It adds so much power to my team. Now at zero gold, but it just adds so much power. Because she's gonna deal much more damage. She has her executioner effect active or her headliner effect. He gets his headliner effect as well, which is just 15 AP, so it's not really that important. This guy's freaking EDM Jax. It's cool, it looks cool. This guy's level 9, 2 star Lucian, 2 star Ezreal. Both big shots, they get bonus attack damage when they ult. They get even more when they ult for 3 seconds or something. Right after their ult. They have QSS on their backline, bro. Which is really uh, annoying to, to me. Bro, come on, man. J come on, Urgot, man. What the frick are you getting paid for, man? You sack of trash. Executioner freaking Akali is not gonna do that well, right? What's her what's her bonus? Headliner effect plus 100 health. I mean, it's more frontline than Kartus. Like, Kartus does literally nothing. Oh, also it gives me true damage. Ooh, 
now I can give her the bling bonus. Which bling bonus is better? Bling bonus heal for 20% of the damage dealt. Nah, I think this bonus is better. Uh, true damage units get a bling bonus when they have an item equipped. Any item. So you can just give them some trash. And her bling bonus is she can, uh, after sample and remix kills a champion, copies an item, create a, per create a permanent component. Which is probably not gonna happen, but if she gets a lucky last hit... Because I feel like the one stars, the Kali will do nothing. Okay, I mean, wasn't I just playing a trash team? <laughs> wasn't I just playing a total trash team if I lose like this? Still cool though, right guys? Still a, still a juicy YouTube video. Katerina Carey. Haven't seen it succeed at all yet. I'm literally the first one that got a top 4 in my games with it. So I think I'll take it, man. This guy did really well with EDM Jax. And then, other than that, it's just full level 9. Like, I, I perform better than one of the level 10 players. So, we'll take it, guys. Still a fun one. Katerina reroll. Definitely not, 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 not the best. <laughs> but it was pretty good. I mean, losing to level 10, level 9 players is always on PvE, right? I'm gonna probably play some games of that as well. Because, uh, yeah. That is, that is how you win on this, uh, on this test environment. Uh, subscribe to the notification bell if you enjoyed these TFT videos. Also, make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the YouTube algorithm so I can get some more views. And I'll see you next time.